Say the world's just going to the birds. Backyard birds. Yep, backyard birds. Wish I could teach these guys how to mow a lawn. <laughs> how to throw a male pouch born in there. Yep. Wood duck. It looks fake. Loons. Nobody you know or I know. Well, maybe that guy right there. Wait. <laughs> so weird. Uh, that's good. Yes. My awkward heron. Looks like he's going to face plant. The whales. One's a humpback and the other one's a fin whale. And this was in Virginia Beach. Hi, Doug. And this double crazy elk that looks like a beer commercial was actually taken in Benazet, Pennsylvania, which is way north maybe sometime when you come in, we can go up there. And this guy decided to hang out by himself. Vanna? Oh. And you recognize this picture. Because we were together. Oh, my favorites. Yeah. I think. I don't know. The boys. These are the wild mustangs from the Outer Banks. Now, I will come back to that one again. I got them running. And I got this really regal guy that says he's been through the desert on a horse with no name. And these guys up here say we never had any names. Now we're going across the hallway. This is the wall of the, this section is um, lighthouses. That is the mother of all lighthouses, Cape Hatteras. This is Azatig Brick House because I think there's another one and I don't know why. Uh, or maybe two other ones, but this is Azatek, Virginia. This is in Henlon Penn State Park, Delaware. On the side closest to us, that is the Atlantic Ocean. On the side that we can't see, on the other side of the lighthouse, is the Delaware Bay. So it actually separates the ocean and the bay, which I think is kind of cool. And this is Brody Light, not named after my grandson, but I think it's pretty cool. But it is on the way to Cape Hatteras, and there's probably at least another lighthouse on the way to Cape Hatteras. This is what people call, let, let me do it this way, what people call the Curatuck Light. And that is actually in Corolla, in the Outer Banks, not too far away from those wild Mustang guys on the other wall. Okay, I'm going to switch you back this way. Got some window action here. Okay, you're familiar with this one because, again, we were together. That's my Superman sunset at Cape May. This is at Shinkatig, Virginia. This is a kaleidoscope um, sunrise. Yeah, I had to get a sunrise in there just to prove to you that I can actually get up that early in the morning. But I used my kaleidoscope filter like I did down at... Uh, where did we go together when we were there? Oh, um, she stands in the middle of the New York Harbor. Ah, yeah. Um, 
Statue of Liberty. This is also a sunrise with a red filter. I'm going to get you close enough so you can see this crazy thing that God did. If you look at that, doesn't that look like Mary and Joseph headed to Bethlehem and on some camels? Just thought that was wild. Okay, and that is also Shinkatig, Virginia sunset. Okay, another window. And here we go with rear reflections. A, a nice, interesting shot of the wild ponies in Shinkatig. No, Azatig, Virginia. Yes, on that side. Notice I spend a lot of time on the Azatig, Virginia side. And this was only available to be taken by kayak. Um, they were in a way, in a place where no man could go except by boat. And Curly, that real curly looking guy that's new, that is a rare pony, according to the natives. He will stay that way his whole life. Not that short, but that curly. So I thought that was kind of cool. So there you have your tour, Pamela. I wish that you could be here. I love you. So does Patrick. And I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great night. Bye.